Hey there everyone, Phil Chill here, and we're back with another Stardew Valley video. I hope you've been having a great time these couple of days, and if you'd like to see more content on Stardew Valley like this, consider subscribing to the channel to get notified about all of the new videos coming out. Today I will talk about all of the new crops, fish and animals you can get by unlocking Ginger Island and which ones you should focus on to earn the most money. This video is not aimed towards beginners as you need to first unlock Ginger Isle. So without further ado, after repairing Willy's boat, you will get access to Ginger Island which will offer a variety of new crops, fruit, animals and fish. This can really boost your economy as you can earn quite a lot with some of the new crops. I will make a detailed statistic starting from the fruits. The mango sapling is a fruit tree that takes 28 days to mature. It can be found in the volcano dungeon as a rare job, bought from the island trader for 75 mussels or inside a golden coconut. The basic mango can be sold for 130 gold, but if you have the tiller profession it can go up to 143. The silver quality mango is worth 162 gold and with the tiller profession 178 gold. The golden quality mango is 195 gold while the profession one is 214. And the last one is the iridium quality mango which is 260 gold compared to the tiller profession one which is 286 gold. Basically the tiller profession adds 10% to the price but it doesn't change it much. The best way to handle the mango is to process it through the artisan equipment where you can sell it for quite a lot. I would suggest using the preserve jars since the kegs at this point in time should be producing ancient fruit or star fruit wine. Next we have the banana sapling which also takes 28 days to mature. It can be acquired from the island trader for 5 dragon teeth or inside golden coconuts. The basic banana can be sold for 150 gold while the tiller profession one for 165 gold. The silver quality banana can be sold for 187 gold while the tiller profession one for 205 gold. For the golden quality one the price is 225 and the same with the profession is 247. The last one which is the iridium quality one which is 300 gold and the one with the tiller profession is 330 gold. Processing the banana through some of the artisan equipment can bring a higher yield overall as you can sell the wine for 450 gold and with the artisan profession the price will go up to 630 gold. For the preserve jar the price is 350 gold and with the artisan profession it can go up to 489 gold. I don't advise on aging this in casks as you can see the prices aren't that high for it to be sold with a bigger profit. I would suggest using the preserve jar for the bananas as you should be using all of the cakes with star fruit and ancient fruit. Up next we have the pineapple which grows from pineapple seeds you can find in the volcano dungeon as drops from tiger slimes and hotheads or purchased at the island trader for one magma cap. The growth time is 14 days and afterwards keeps producing every 7 days. Compared to the fruit trees this one is worth more where the basic price of the pineapple is 300 gold and with the tiller profession it goes up to 330 gold. The silver quality is 375 which with the tiller profession can go up to 412 gold and the gold quality one is sold for 450 gold which with the tiller profession is 495 gold. As for the iridium quality pineapple which is quite rare to be produced the price is 600 gold while the one with the profession is 660 gold. Now for the artisan prices if you make it into wine you can sell it for 900 gold and with the artisan profession 1260 gold. The next prices we have if you decide to age it which are silver 1125 gold, golden 1350 gold and iridium 1800 gold. The prices with the artisan profession however are 
silver 1575 gold, golden 1889 gold and iridium 2520 gold. The preserves jar prices are 650 gold for the normal one, while the one with the artisan profession is 909 gold. My suggestion is to only use the preserves jars if you have the artisan profession as you can get a lot of gold for all of the jars. And for the cakes, save them for the more expensive crops that you can age afterwards. Another crop we have is the taro root, which grows from taro tubers you find all around Ginger Island. It can be used as currency for trading with the island trader, and it's the second crop in the game, which when planted near a body of water, you don't need to water. The basic price of the taro root is 100 gold, and with the tiller profession, it's 110 gold. The silver quality one is 125 gold, while the one with the tiller profession is 137 gold. The golden one is 150 gold, and with the profession is 165 gold. The iridium quality tiller root is sold 200 gold, and with the tiller profession, it's 220 gold. The artisan goods from the terror root are just two, which is the juice, which can be sold for 225 gold, while with the artisan profession it's 315 gold, and by using the preserves jars, you can get more money since the basic one is worth 250 gold and the one with the artisan profession is 350 gold. The best price for the terror roots you can get from the preserves jar and it will help you a lot, but I don't suggest using preserves jar for terror root as there are a lot of other crops that you can use to get higher profit. After you complete all of Professor Snail's requests, you will unlock the ostrich incubator where you can incubate your own ostrich. I made a video on this which you can check out in the description on where you can get an ostrich egg. The basic ostrich egg sells for 600 gold and with the rancher profession it's 720. The silver quality one is 750 and with a rancher profession it's 900. The gold quality is 900 and with a rancher profession is 1080 gold. The final one is the iridium quality which is 1200 and with a rancher profession it can sell for 1440. For the artisan equipment you can get a lot of gold since when you put an egg in the mayonnaise machine you will get 10 mayonnaise, which quality will be equal to the quality of the egg that you used. The base price of the mayonnaise is 190 gold, the silver quality 227, the golden quality 285, and the iridium quality 380. The best part is that the mayonnaise counts as an animal product and an artisan product. So it benefits from the rancher perk and the artisan perk. And you can see the prices that you would get with those two perks. We only have the fish left and they don't offer many special prices compared to the other products. The blue discs can be caught in the ponds and rivers on Ginger Island. The base price of the blue discs is 120 gold, while the silver one is 150. The golden quality blue discus is 180 gold, while the iridium quality is 240 gold. The Fisher profession raises the prices for 25% and these are the prices that you can get with that, while the angler increases them by 50%. By using the fish ponds for the blue discus, you can get a row which is worth 90 gold and by aging it the price will go up to 180 gold which will further increase from the artisan profession perk to 251. The only two things that you can get by keeping the blue discus in ponds is a banana and golden coconuts. I would advise against keeping these fish in ponds as the pond can be used for better fish which will give you better profits. It can also be used at the island trader to buy an oceanic rug. The stingray is one of the new fish found on Ginger Island, which can be caught in the Pirate Cove after you unlock the resort on the island. It can also be used as a currency at the island trader to buy mahogany seeds if you're in need of hardwood. 
The basic price of the Stingray is 180 gold, while the silver quality is worth 225 gold. The gold quality is 270 gold, while the iridium quality is 360 gold. The Fisher profession raises the prices for 25%, while the angler profession raises the prices for 50%. Using this fish in the pond is more beneficial and not for the roe. The roe sells for 120 gold, while aged it can sell for 240. The artisan profession raises this price for 40%, which makes it 336 gold. If you have this fish in the pond, you can also get some magma caps, cinder shards and dragon tooth, which can help you out in your playthrough. But overall, there are much more worthy fish to put in the ponds instead of this one. The last fish is the lionfish, which can be caught in any ocean water on Ginger Isle. You can use it for trading at the island trader for a tropical chair and its base price is 100 gold, while the silver quality price is 125 gold. The gold quality lionfish is worth 150 gold, while the iridium quality one is 200 gold. The fisher profession increases this price for 25% and the angler increases them for 50% as you can see in these tables. You can keep this fish in ponds as well and it will produce a row worth 80 gold, which when aged is worth 160 gold, but with the artisan profession perk, it increases the price for 40% and it goes up to 224 gold. When in the pond, it can also produce tarot tubers and tiger slime eggs. I wouldn't advise in keeping this fish in ponds as it wouldn't be worth it, because you may use much more better fish in the long run. Well everyone, we came to the end of the video. For the conclusion, I will show you how much you can get if you plant the whole island farm with pineapples and if you sell the raw pineapples compared to the processed ones. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel to be a part of our community. I would like to hear your thoughts on this and what do you think is the most worth crop to on the island. I hope you have a great time and I will see you in the next one. Till then, stay safe.